What up, though? Heist man, the foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, share button, subscribe button, the notification bell, all them good buttons you got to hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out. We're going to talk about that later, man. Anyway, man, let's get into the madness, man. Hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your daughters, your nieces, your uncles, your aunts, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, the dogs, the cats, whoever you got to hide, man. Hide them from AIP because AIP is on the loose. Once AIP got them glasses on, that hat to the back, looking into that camera, man, you know he finna get in his bag. And that's exactly what he did yesterday, man. He got into a whole nother bag, man. He exposed Sirius Jones, a.k.a. Cartoon Jones, a.k.a. Woo! Y'all know that sound he made when he got socked, man. But we ain't talking about that right now, man. We talking about Sirius Jones getting exposed by ARP. And ARP had the receipts to match, man. He had the receipts. He had the screenshots he had everything man he had bombs like clue going off in the background he should have had the ether beat going on man because it was it was nasty man he was yogo flame street fighter type stuff man but what's going on man um serious jones backed out of the battle man between him and big k the both happened on april 3rd the max out card the rare breed card um who else was on the hitman holla versus um cassidy I heard he made him um, retire but we ain't talking about that right now man he um got into it um he exposed him man because he said for starters man that he couldn't get the boy to book a flight to come over there and battle. He kept running up all these excuses man pushing it back because he didn't know he was gonna be flying out of um New Jersey or California so he kept just pushing it back man you know giving um ARP the run around and I think he said his man name was Lawrence or something you know, giving him the run around about that and it was crazy man like. That's money on the line. You know, they, he said he got into some diva type stuff. Like, he didn't want to not fly. Be, um, he didn't want to catch a connected flight and all kind of little diva stuff like that, man. And like I said, he didn't know if he was going to be flying out of, um, what, New Jersey or in the battles is going to be happening in L.A., I mean, in um, Atlanta, and this little weird stuff like that, man. He also brought up the point that his probation officer – wasn't going to let him out of the state or something like that. Uh, at the last minute, he came up, you know, because he he have no um probation officer when they was booking the battles and all that stuff. But he came up with an excuse about a probation officer at the last moment. Then he going to, um, you know, he tried to get um, ARP to vouch for him by telling ARP to use your white voice and your car to him and, and you know, smooth it over and you know talk use your white voice to give some good words man and he was saying stuff like that because he wanted to you know get the bag you know get him to um you know fly out there he was trying to get him i, I said this before use the white voice but um he was trying to get him to use the white voice because he also wanted him to to say that um he had a, a residence because arp exposed that um my man i forgot his name sirius jones cartoon jones is living out of hotel yeah, Sirius Jones don't have a residence, man. That's why he wanted him to use that voice to say he had a residence, man. He said Sirius Jones is out here couch surfing. He living on the edge. He hang 10, cowabunga dude. That's crazy, man, Sirius Jones, man. Um, What else, man? He brought Head Ice into the conversation, too. Like, Head Ice was vouching for him. He done brought Wolf Love in there. Ice in there to say he couldn't get over there and stuff like that. So there's, there's all kind of little crazy stuff going on, man. Weird stuff, man. But what it all boils down to, Sears Jones ran off on the plug. He did, man. And when he ran off on the plug, what did he do? He went straight to URL. Because he got a battle coming up against Rum Nitty coming up real soon. On Ultimate Madness 3, man. But I think the reason why he did that, he was able to take that battle because it's on the caffeine. You know, it's going to be on the caffeine app. And it's in California, so he ain't got to, you know, do that with his probation officer. I don't know. That's that's some weird stuff, though, that happened, though, man. But when the battle, you know, Big K had to um, switch his opponent and be, uh, wind up becoming clone. So when it happened, they, you know, they had a ample time to get prepared and all that stuff. And Sirius Jones knew he wasn't battle, but he leaked it out saying that they're going to battle. You know, not that they're going to battle, but he's not battling. And ARP, he didn't want that to happen. He told him, don't do that. You know, be quiet, lay low. Because he wanted to um, tell everybody during the face-offs because during the face-offs or the max-out card, 
it was like the most people that ever watched the face off. So he wanted to get them. They propers, you know, get them. They just do. And, you know, expose it. Then the, the, the battle been changed, but he didn't want to do that, man. So I think that's real goofy of cartoon Jones to do that, man. That's some real punk stuff. Yeah. But all, all in all, man, ARP had a flawless victory. Over there, man. Like I said, he ethered that dude, man. He should have had some, doom, doom, you know, some, some bombs in the background, man. He kept calling that dude Cartoon Jones, man. And that's going to stick with me forever, man. Cartoon Jones. For, for now on, every time you see Sirius Jones, you're going to think of him Cartoon Jones, man. Um, He was in his bag, though, ARP, man. He got the right to be mad. But the thing about it, um, what I liked about it the most, he was trying to work with him. He was like, yo, O'Red had a situation. You know, we pushed that back. Head Ice had a situation when he was about to go up against... um. Frozen bird. He pushed that back. He was trying to get a dude some, you know, say he's going to spin back on the block. And he don't get that back. But cartoon Jones, <laughs> I can't forget that name, man. Um, he didn't want to play ball, man. Then he went and took his ball and went to the URL, man. And I don't know, man. I know ARP was in his bag, man. He mad. He was out there. Like he did like 45 minutes on the dude, man. Just going at it, man. I'm telling you, when ARP get in his bag, he in his bag, man. I don't think serious. I don't know. I don't want it to get far as it's going to go. Um, I don't know how far it's going to go. ARP a business, man. He handled business, and he's trying to handle business. And Sirius Jones um, ran off on the plug. That's what it all boils down to. I ain't really got much to say about it, man. It's, gonna be, it's a situation, though. I know Rum Nitty going to have some bars. Some bars about this uh, coming up. Hey, that's that's a round already for Rum Nitty. He's going to expose him, man, by him laying on that couch. Well, let me see that couch situation one more time, man. Ah! Cartoon Jones is couch surfing. Cowabunga, dude. That's wild, man. But like I said, Rum Nitty, hey, you you going you gonna to be able to get, no, get that off, man, because that's, like I said, that's a whole round, man. This is a situation brewing, though, man. But ARP, man, um, y'all go check out his blog, man. He did 45 minutes on it, man, just getting straight to it. This is just a little sample of it, man. Just had to get my, my words in there. Um, it's going down, though, man. Y'all check out, um, what's the card name? Ultimate Man is 3, man, to see what um, he going to do. He going against Rum Nitty, man. So, anyway, man, I'm finna get up out of here, man. Um, y'all gotta mess with me, man. I go live every Friday on this channel, man. Um, what time? At 9 p.m. Y'all gotta come through and holler at me. Where my buttons at? Here we go. Holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you gotta hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.